I added some boss fights to the game. And then I asked for people to comment down below with their favorite NPCs and why they were their favorite. Unsurprisingly, the majority of those NPCs came from Hollow Knight and Undertale. But I'm going to get into that later. Because before I started building the overworld, I wanted to make the playable characters that you could pick from in the overworld. Starting with one that I'm going to call Gun Dudette. I used Kenny's Creature Mixer for this, and I was trying to get a base model for the character that was kind of feminine. And then I took them over to Ace Sprite and got rid of their smiles so they look like they have seen some shit. Which I think will be a pretty funny contrast from the main character who is just running around naked. But then I gave them some clothes, and then changed the gun animation so that it would have their skin tone. And then I had a big old brain fart, and couldn't decide whether I needed a selected variable and a displayed variable, or just the displayed variable. Basically, I've got it set up so that 0 is the base character, and then 1 is the second character, and then from there, if I want to keep going, I can just keep adding numbers. And then I use that number to determine which animation gets picked. And that's it. Now she's in the game. There's no way to yet pick the character, but they exist in the game file. And then I realized that the death particle didn't match the character anymore. So I wanted to be really lazy about it and just make a default ghost animation for the particle that spawns when you die. But that didn't come out very good, so I scrapped it and made individual death images for each character. And then I started on the third character which is going to be a robot because I love robots in games. I again picked the base setup for the character in the creature mixer, and then I went to Ace Sprite to add some character to it and some clothing. And I gave it this flat screen looking face so it could do some animations and things without it looking strange. And then I added variable number two to the game, which made the robot character possible. And then I wanted to add one more character to the game, and that was going to be some kind of demon character. So again, Kenny's creature mixer, then a sprite, and I gave this one some little horns on top because, you know, devil. And these characters are currently purely cosmetic. I want the game to center around a leaderboard system, and I'm cautious to add new abilities or stats on certain things because it might throw off the balance of the game. So for now they're purely cosmetic, but down the road maybe that'll change. Next I got into new weapons. I wanted to start with the trinity. Sword, axe, spear. Or in this case, rifle, machine gun, sniper rifle. I wanted to retain the blocky look, mostly because this is one of the only things that's going to be rotated, and it looks really bad when it's rotated. So the blockier the gun is, the less pixelation that's going to happen along the gun. Apologies in advance, because I don't know anything about guns. I just need something for my game that goes bang bang boom boom. So if these don't look like actual guns, meh. And now that I had a selection of players and guns, I needed a way that the player could actually pick them. So I got started on the overworld. Starting first with the guns just floating in a void, testing out how to jump from the overworld to the game scene with the newly picked gun. And then I did the same thing for the characters. Making unique idle animations for each one, so that the character seems like it's not just a floating icon in a void, but an actual alive thing or character. And this was actually a lot of fun. Doing the animation for the robot I might have taken a little bit too much time on because they power down and then play Pong with themselves. And I wanted to give Gun Dudette a more serious idle animation, so the entire time she's stretching and basically she's getting ready for the next time she goes into the dungeon. And then for the overworld I built a fireplace and a door and a gate for new characters to come into. And then I put everything into the room and created a sound effect for selection using JFXR, and gave each object a little bounce when you pick them. But now to get into NPCs. Because I don't want the game to have everything unlocked from the get-go, I do want some meta progression. But I'm not really a fan of power as the meta progression. I much prefer cosmetics and objects and things like that. Because this way ensures that you can beat the game or in this case get a high score, without having unlocked everything. And each time you play the game you come back and unlock something new, and that's just a reward for the player who wants to keep playing. So the NPCs that will sell these things to you needed to be created. Starting with the soldier character who was going to sell you the guns. This one wasn't exactly complicated, 
and I actually gave them an animation where they adjust their helmet and then do some like yawning. And then next was the gatekeeper, who was going to be an all armored character holding a spear who would be moaning and groaning about the fact that they were even there. Hmm. Because that was one of the things that people came up with as a reason why they enjoyed characters. Either the character was snarky or comedic or did something that really humanized them. And, you know, complaining about your job is pretty human. And then finally, I made the gambler, who was going to sell you packs of coins that would be upgrades in the dungeon. And I wanted to make sure that they were kind of a gravelly, rich looking, I know more than I'm letting on kind of character. I gave them a simple coin toss animation and a mustache twirl and called that a day. I then recorded some sounds and used those as the guttural noises that these characters will make. And then I had to make the shop and I really didn't want to have to go through the process of making a big inventory list and all that kind of stuff. So I went with a basic progression system where you talk to the character, you buy a single thing from them, and then the next thing shows up in the shop. And then once you've bought everything, it just gives you a no when you try to buy something. It'll be up to playtesting to figure out how much these things are going to cost, but for now, everything is just set to one. And then I wanted to add one last character who was going to be the board keeper. I made a very basic looking character with a backpack and a scroll sticking out of the back. And they were going to be in charge of the two leaderboards in game, one for a weekly leaderboard and one that was permanent. The weekly one I'm currently planning on resetting manually myself every week. And then the permanent one will only be updated whenever a major patch comes out for the game. And I'm kind of hoping this will encourage people to come back to see what's new or to just put their name up on the leaderboard again. But now I need you to do me a favor. Could you comment down below and tell me what effect or sound or thing you've seen in other games that you think mine would benefit from? Like the eyeballs poking out and don't starve or particle effects that I'm missing or ambient noise or anything like that. For example, I'm currently playing with a vignette and some lighting to make the space seem a little more polished. A huge thank you to my patrons. Because of them, my coffee cup is full. And I can even afford creamer. And as always, my links are down below. And if you decide to click on one, then I'll see you there.